Alright guys, welcome back to Emerald. We are here in the Moss Deep City Gym. Today we're going to own some Psychic Butt. And basically, almost every single battle in this gym is indeed a double battle. So I'm just going to super speed through all the trainer battles and then do the whole uh, audio video thing like I did with, what is it, Maxi or Archie. I don't know, I can't remember their names properly, but oh well. You guys know who I'm talking about, so... Yeah. Um... Sneezy has Faint Attack, which is basically my only super effective move in any of my Pokemons. I'm not sure if Ghost is super effective against Psychic. Probably not. It's most likely not very effective, but oh well. I can't remember that right now, but basically I'm just going to try to super speed through all the trainers and then do normal speed with audio on Tate and Liza. So, yeah. I actually want to use a lot of Live Wire Spitfire combinations here because I want any everyone to get to level, what is it, level... I forget. Level 40. Yeah. Everyone is level 40 except for Rickroll and Spitfire. For some reason, Spitfire fell behind, but it's not really too hard for him to get back up, so... Let's just kill this Zatu and get life over with. Rickroll should be going level... F oh, God. Sneezy level 41. Great. Anyway, Spitfire and Rickroll, you guys need to do some tag team action so you can get some levels up. Um... Wow, this is gonna be a pretty short episode probably because I'm using super speed but yeah this gym is actually rather easy believe it or not um let's take care of this Wobbuffet rather fast and then take care of Kadabra I guess shockwave doesn't do crap great I'm gonna stomp this thing and flamethrower that thing Wobbuffet goes down stomp should do quite a lot to Kadabra considering wait what the heck how does that even happen how did I just get flame body from a Kadabra Oh, it's using... Oh, it's, it used roleplay. I see, I see. Okay. So, never mind. Yeah. I was just... Wow, how did I get Flame Body from a Kadabra? But it used roleplay. If you guys don't know what roleplay is, it basically just copies a Pokemon's ability. In that case, Kadabra copied uh, Spitfire's Flame Body ability. So, yeah. That's basically it. Now, um, just a lot of double battles in this gym going on. You know, pretty cool. Not very cool when you lose. But, um, you know, since these Pokemon are ra relatively weak compared to me, it's actually kind of easy. So, Natu, really, I don't I don't get why they have a Natu, but sure, it just got owned. And Spitfire still is not to level 40. Oh yeah, by the way, I remember last time I said I would get like a cheat or something to uh, make myself get to level, or uh, get Everstones, but I decided to go against that because... As you guys might know, my Pokemon carry items at the moment, and if I use Everstone, then they would lose all of those stat-boosting items, and that's something that I would not enjoy very much. So for now, they're keeping their items, not using Everstones. Like, no. So anyway, over here, what you want to do with this gem is just push this twice so that the way is unblocked, or whatever. And then you can just go back to the beginning, or go up here. And one more puzzle here. So another double battle. Let's go for Spitfire and Livewire, I guess. We haven't seen that combo in a while, haven't we? So, yes, show me your talent. I will show you my talent. Um, Flamethrower the Ralts, Thunderbolt the Spoink. For the win, Spoink is actually pretty good with special defense, so... Might take a while to, you know, kill it, but, eh. Nyeh. Livewire, Spitfire, too pro for Spoinks. You are not evolving, young man. How many times do I have to tell you? Okay, so one more puzzle here. I don't think I can get a double battle with these two, but I think you can. It's... Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. That's that's about it. Okay, so... I guess I'll flamethrower you. Yeah, great. Um, Hexmania... Hexmaniac. Whatever. Push this thing three times, and one more trainer to battle. I guess after this, I'll just kind of go heal up and skip ahead to the actual Tate and Liza. Oh god, that Psychic almost killed me, but not quite, because I'm too cool. Anyway, as soon as you're done with that, push this thing. Gosh, I did not mean to push that, but sure. And push it one more time. Get up here. Get over here. And here's Tate and Liza. I will go heal up and be right back. Alright guys, going up against Tate and Liza. These guys are serious business. Take note that they are the only double battle gym leaders in any of the Pokemon regions. I mean, you know, Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh. They are the only double battle gym leaders. So these guys are serious business. 
and you know what? They really are, because they're kind of tough to take out. They start off with Zatu and Claydol. Back in Ruby and Sapphire, they only had Lunatone and Solrock. Um, you know, Lunatone and Solrock are still around. They just only have... They start out with these two, so they add it to their team. Um, you may ask, Padsy and Pico, well, I have a very... I, I don't know if it's a good strategy. I wouldn't call it good exactly, but I have a pretty smart strategy, I would say. Pico is faster than uh, Claydol, who has Earthquake, and basically it doesn't even matter because Earthquake doesn't affect Pico. Now, Earthquake does affect Padsy. However, Padsy is using Giga Drain, so hopefully he'll get a bit, a bit of HP back. And wow, critical hit. You know, this is just what I needed. You have just made my day a lot better, um, Claydol. I love you. Because you're awesome. So anyway, I think I'm about to throw out Sneezy. Um, he's kind of fast, so... And I'm pretty sure he can take a good punishing from Earthquake, so... I'm just gonna s Strength and Shadow Ball the Zatu. Um, Strength, I don't think it'll kill it, but yeah. Shadow Ball should finish it off, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm about, what, 99.9% .9 sure that Shadow Ball should finish it off. And since I'm faster than Claydol, once again, I'll hit first. Good job, Pico. So I said earlier that Shadow Ball is not very effective against Psychic. I was wrong. It is super effective, which is just great. Good job. Or it's a good thing that I taught Pico Shadow Ball. Now here comes the Soul Rock, the first of the two very annoying Pokemons. Um, Earthquake will hit Sneezy. I'm pretty sure I can take at least one hit from it. Yes, great job. And um, eh, Soul Rock it misses. Who cares? Ice Beam. And Shadow Ball. Let's see how much I can do to this Claydol exactly. I know Shadow Ball is super effective, but it doesn't do too much. So, Sneezy is confused. Great. Please hit. Thank you. Ice Beam should be super effective, if I am not mistaken. And no, I was not mistaken, which is just great. So, Claydol going for yet another Earthquake, probably gonna kill Sneezy. Yes, it does. Of course. I mean, yeah. That wasn't anything that I couldn't have predicted. So anyway, Soul Rock because it's has Levitate. Ground moves miss. Um, it's time for Spitfire to get out there, and I think this Soul Rock has Rock Throw. So I definitely need to oh flamethrower. You know that is great. If Spitfire actually had what is it? Um, Flash Fire that would have just boosted my fire moves, but no, it's got Flame Body. So anyway, Spitfire is really fast in this. Is really fast. I did not. I, w I did not realize that, but is really fast. So Spitfire and Pico, great job finishing off Claydol. Now we're three minutes into this battle, and we still got the toughest two Pokémon: Soul Rock and Lunatone. Now these things, you just you you can't mess around with these things because they will kick your butt. So really, just do your best. Seriously, it, it's it's not even. I don't have a strategy for these guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, I don't even know what to say because I really don't have a good strategy for these guys. They are rock and psychic type. They may look like fire and whatever else, but they are rock and psychic, both of them. Now, Flamethrower burned him. That is great. I'm just going to take out Lunatone first. I don't think Soul Rock is very big of a threat, so I'm just going to take out Lunatone first. And two combos from, from Flamethrower and Shadow Ball should take him out. And for some reason, Soul Rock likes to use Flamethrower on Pico. I hope that doesn't kill me. Great. Oh, Hypnosis missed. Great. Awesome. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Sunny Day is up, so, you know, Flamethrower is boosted. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Um, Citrus Berry helps out Lunatone, but, you know, it's got Flame... It's got Burn. So, it is definitely going down this turn. Like, th there's no doubt about it that it's going down. Unless it has some kind of hacks thing where it resists my flamethrower or something like that. I don't know. Just some hacks has to happen for me not to win. Shadow Ball, if it doesn't take it out, burn will. And great job. We just took out Lunatil. Potentially one of the harder targets to take out. Now, I don't think Soul Rock has used um, any Calm Minds yet. So, you know, we're pretty, we're, we're pretty much golden right now. Now, I'm probably going to have to revive Pico because it does have... Um, what is it? It does have Shadow Ball, and it's pretty much my only shot at winning here. Okay, so now that the, um, what is it? The sunlight has faded, it's my turn to retaliate. Go Flamethrower, not gonna do anything at all. Because it's, well, it's not Fire-type, but it's Rock-type, so. Gonna resist it, but oh well. Shadow Ball, go. 
I'm just hoping it gets burned or something. Something. Just hoping for something here. Now, if it has Citrus Berry, it's gonna survive one more. If it doesn't... Ooh! I don't think it does. So, you guess what? Soul Rock, you are about to go down, my friend. You are... Oh, crap. Great, you just ruined this for me. I, lo I love you, Soul Rock. You just ruined everything for me, don't you? Alright, last shot, I'll just use Low Tat or Patsy or whatever. And it's probably gonna heal up soon. I might have to just, like, skip a lot of this ahead. So, it's about to heal up. I just know, like, a hundred... Ooh! Oh, snap! Sunny Day! Sunny Day kicking in and boosting Flamethrower, giving it just enough power to defeat Soul Rock. That was a worthy challenge right there. I, I don't know. I was just trying to come up with something cool to say, but you know what? That was just an awesome battle right there. 